Well, right now, let's go to Brussels and Bloomberg EU government editor Richard Bravo on these extraordinary events. And it's not just the president talking, reducting 1814. Richard, this is a combination of Chancellor Merkel's extraordinary speech yesterday and even comments by Mr. Macron. How coordin coordinated are they as they go to Quebec? Well, it appears that they are unified, and it is somewhat rare to see this much unity among the EU states, but they do see this as an existential threat, and as <clears throat> they go to the G7 tomorrow, you will see that as a common theme from all the EU leaders. And Donald Tusk wrote in an op-ed this morning in the, uh, in the New York Times that unity is the one thing that the EU needs to hold on to if Trump keeps, keeps pushing uh, the bounds of the, the transatlantic relationship as he is. Within the EU experiment, I thought her speech really harkens back to the time of Conrad Adenauer. It was just absolutely extraordinary. And she talks about a reorganization. Uh, in, the, in American media today, they sidebar the idea of a more enhanced German military. How sensitive of an issue is that across Europe? Well, uh, an enhanced military is something that, that is a sensitive topic, but it's funny that you mention that because um, the, there's a big meeting at NATO today in Brussels among the defense ministers, and uh, Mattis will be here for that. And so all eyes will be on him because, as you know, the steel and, uh, and proposed car tariffs from the U.S. are done on the uh, justification of national security grounds. So there's some question as to whether or not other NATO defense ministers will push Mattis on that, on that topic. Richard, what other allies could the EU have if tensions really, really ramp up with the U.S.? Is it turning to face China more strongly? Well, the EU is in a similar position as China, so uh, there are indications that China and the EU could form something of a unified front. And as we reported recently, China has been making overtures to the EU um, on, this, on this trade issue. So, so it is a possibility, but as you know, European Council President Donald Tusk has said, um, they really want to hold on to that transatlantic bond, and they're warning member states from using the, the current tensions as an excuse to turn to Russia, to turn to China. So um, we really will see that play out in, in Canada, the G7's yeah. uh, leaders' meeting, but it is, it is on everyone's mind.